Hi Leo, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Relaxation, it's time to get you some rest, okay? Time to get some rest. What else do we have here? Four source energy. You could be taking a break, you know? Uh, yeah. Spirit is saying, get some rest, go with the flow, let go of control here. Literally, that's just exactly what Spirit is saying. <laughs> They're like repeating themselves right now, but this is good. There's a need for you to rest. I mean, you could be coming into some busy energy here real soon, but we'll see what else comes out. Give me one more here. Go with the flow and relax. Let take let spirit take the wheel. Then we have the light energy, which reminds me of like star energy here. You could be in Aquarius or have Aquarius or Gemini or Libra in your chart. You could also have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart. And then the bottom of the deck is truth. All right, so you could be receiving or telling the truth about something. Either way. You don't have to be in control over whatever this is for it to go in your favor. There is light at the end of the tunnel. If something's going to come out in your, turn out in your favor, it's going to be balanced. Something's getting ready to be balanced out here, Divine Feminine, okay? Because this light card speaks about um, having the strength, having um, to, to look forward, right, and, and have hope and believe, like, that there is light at the end of the tunnel, thinking about, like, better days, right, staying positive, um, and I would read it, but I think I put my book up, so, but that's basically what this energy is, what else do we have here for the divine angel of love, yeah, I'm telling y'all, when I was pre-shuffling, this love energy was coming out quite a bit, angel of love, the number 49, let's read this and the bottom of the deck is goddess of the moon so this is giving like queen of cups energy here high priestess energy here so you could be have have uh pisces or scorpio in your chart i'm gonna read angel of love the number 49 or the number 52 could be significant for you oh somebody might have love coming in or spirit wants you to be in a loving energy here all right let's see here we go Wait, I get there. One more, you guys. Um. All right, it says upright. All right, the angel of love. Uh, upright. This beautiful angel comes with roses in her hand and rose-colored wings. She holds a rose quartz heart, radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. Yeah, totally Queen of Cups energy. If you're looking for new love, this angel brings a message of upcoming approach. Or if you're longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, she's here to say that greater tenderness is available to you. Either way, just remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward. And the compassion that you demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of all of these events in a significant way. So the angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm. So basically spirit is saying, you know, if you're looking for love, obviously like <laughs> let go of control, treat yourself the way really treat yourself the way you want to be treated, right? Which I really feel like this is the energy that you guys are in. If you're not in this energy of like relaxing, letting go of control, taking real good care of yourself, having a real good self-care routine here and just have having this energetic light about you um is amazing and that's really the energy that i feel like you guys are actually in you have starlight energy because that's exactly what i'm seeing here you're very intuitive to pay attention to your um your, your dreams okay you're spiritually guided trust your intuition your intuition is very strong let's do one more card for you what else for the divine feminine Ooh, the angel of strength. You guys got to come in on um, the number 49 and the number 50. So listen, you, you might be feeling a lack of confidence when it comes to love here. You might be feeling like, dang, a little discouraged about whether or not new love is coming in for you or something that you really, really want is coming in for you. Don't give up hope, okay, because this angel of strength card is Leo energy. It's energy of confidence. It's, it's energy of taking action. And being strong or you know like maybe even holding yourself back um so get out of that energy bottom of the deck is woman holding the coin the number 42 could be significant for you 
Okay, let's see what else we got going on here for the Divine Feminine. What else do we have for the Divine Feminine today, Spirit Guides? Leo energy. Like I said, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with that woman holding a coin. So it's like you guys are actually looking good. You're doing good. You're taking very good care of yourselves. Like literally... Oh, look at what's on the bottom of this caring connection. There's a, you may intuitively know there's a caring connection coming your way. Okay. What else do we have here for the divine feminine? There's a little bit of jealousy around you, divine feminine, so be careful of that. I definitely see some envious and jealous energy. Oh, there is love again. Somebody here coming in for you, adores you, and admires you, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Bankrupt. Oh, my goodness. Who is this? Somebody here is broke. And I think this has something to do with whoever this is. It's envious of you. Just be careful. Somebody could be envious of you. Remember, you're in this woman holding a coin energy you know you're good you're relaxing you're going with the flow i feel like you really don't have a care right now okay then we have last chance they lost their chance or you did so there could be some energy here there's a past energy not could be there's definitely a past energy here who someone here may have had you in third party energy okay and this person lost their last chance with you Okay, this is somebody who puts you in competition with somebody else. I feel like this is some this love that's coming towards you is um here. Let me put this right here. It's definitely a different energy. All right, so that could come sometime between autumn. Okay, but you this is also energy of harvest, right? This is an energy of the woman holding the coin like literally you you're you're good your finances i feel like are good you're taking really really good care of yourself but there's another energy here from the past that's not maybe doing so well when it comes to their finances and there's some envious energy oh no then there's somebody here that puts you in third party and this person misses you and regret something they did and they're hoping they haven't lost the ability to like make a guitar and, and save the connection which I don't see you doing it. I mean you know you're obviously not talking to this person you're like this four swords uh, star energy here basically what else do we have for the divine feminine please what else do we have for the divine feminine Yeah, whoever this third party, this person was, like, they literally um, <clears throat> were out of touch with their ego, okay? Their ego got in the way of the connection, which makes sense, you know, especially if they had a third party situation, right? Definitely this person is out of touch with reality. They're, they're very selfish. Um, yeah, look at this. Bring newness. Angels blocking a connection. There's someone better than who you have in mind, not for you. So there's somebody here, Divine Feminine, who this person who who's all in their ego, this person's being blocked because Spirit says, no, there's somebody else for you. The person who put you in this third party competition, who wanted to win at all costs or was playing mind games. Like there's something better and Spirit is blocking this person from coming towards you. Okay, or this could really be you saying, no, I want new, I don't want old, right? If it's not new, stay away from me. <clears throat> yeah, maturity. I think you've matured, you guys. You know, this person may um, may even come towards you and say, <laughs> probably around the time you you get this new love, this person's going to circle back and be like, okay, I, I've, I've learned my lesson, I've changed. Um, you know, but you, but in actuality, Divine Feminine, you really did inspire this person to change. You really did. 
whether you know it or not. Uh, I think it's just going to take this person quite a while. But isn't it crazy how, like, divine timing works? It's like the spirit is blocking this person now, really probably because they need to do the work. But, like, and then it's like, boom, when you meet your person, then, <laughs> and you're, like, going with the flow and having a great time, then this past person comes back up, like, oh, my gosh, like, are you done with me? Are you done with me? But it looks like you guys have true love coming in or this person is like going to realize when they lose you and you move, you really, really moved on, they realize they've lost you and now they're in these feelings of regret. This person may surprise you. I'm telling you, they may surprise you. Okay. <clears throat> Let's pull some tarot. and we'll move these out of the way. All right. I'll put this up here. All right. <clears throat> well, I tell you, don't people know how to come in at, at the most like decent time? Play too much. Show me what else is coming in for my divine feminine. What else do they need to know here? The divine feminine, please. I just saw that ten swords. What else is coming in for the divine feminine? Four of Pentacles, Page of Swords, oh boy, I think this is that past person that can't let you go that's watching you, stalking you, Two of Cups in reverse, really, I feel like this Two of Cups was in reverse, <clears throat> somebody who you're not in love with anymore, they, but see, this person, yeah, you're moving on, okay, You're moving on to, you're coming, yeah, you're moving on, and I'm telling you, you're in your bag, Divine Feminine, like, literally, you're, you are the woman holding the coin, like, your whole, like, Divine gives you this coin, and you say, okay, thank you, Divine, I deserve this, this is for you, you're moving on, doing better, looking better, like I said, you're going with the flow, right, um, oh, wait, what was that, saw something flip over. Yeah, you're defending, you're protecting yourself and defending yourself and standing your ground. Seven of Swords, you're setting healthy boundaries with people that you need to set boundaries with. You're setting boundaries with people who are immature. You're setting boundaries with people who are jealous. You're setting boundaries with people who play mind games, you know, and you're focusing on your money. For some of y'all, too, um, somebody be, might be coming towards you to ask, look, look at this. Like I said, you're blocking. Somebody might be asking you for money or to borrow money. Don't do it, okay? But anywho, that was a side note. The uh, devil here with the seven of wands, you're blocking out anything toxic like I was literally just saying. Some of you all could be dealing with a Capricorn here. This person could be obsessively thinking about you, but I think you're just this is you just blocking negativity. And you're getting this gift from the divine. You're moving on and focusing on, on your stability here. And this could also be a commitment in love. Okay, a new beginning. Look at that. Ace of Swords in reverse. Wanted to come out in reverse. You know, you're blocking yourself from anybody, like I said, who was deceptive towards you, who was toxic, anybody who lied. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles. Yeah, and anybody who juggled you. Basically it's gone you're like no no thank you anybody who's undecided that's it but this past person can't let you go and they're obsessively watching you and here's the three of cups now you're going to be celebrating okay you you hanging out with your friends enjoying life transforming and changing right scorpio energy good for you what else for the divine feminine? This could also be the past person wanting to reunite. So, okay, then we um. So there's something hidden here, or some fears. What's this moon about? A new beginning. So this new beginning could not be like you you. You just Aries energy. You might really, Divine Feminine, you might not just be prepared or see this new beginning yet. 
you know, or you might be afraid to take a risk, or you might be afraid of some changes here. Whatever this thing is that is bringing in some reason for you to celebrate Three of Cups, and there are going to be some changes here you might be fearful or you might be afraid of those changes because like it could be a leap of like you moving it could be a leap of like you traveling here there could be competition here five of wands <clears throat> or this could just be you going through this inner conflict like what do i do because i don't really you know want to step outside my comfort zone or take a risk Let's see though, let's see. Clarify this five of wands. I think people also too are like gossiping and jealous. Conflict. This is over you making a decision over this new beginning and it's going to be something that you're real passionate about. Ace of wands at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy. So we have the Aries energy Capricorn here. We have a Scorpio energy Cancer energy. All right, as far as major arcana, so you could be any one of those signs or have placements. All right, so yeah, let's see what else spirit wants to talk about for you guys. Show me what else for the divine feminine, please. What else does the divine feminine need to know? The Knight of the Knight of Pentacles. So you have an offer coming towards you, but you know, I also feel like this is just like gonna take whatever this decision is that you're taking a leap towards, it's gonna it's gonna take it's gonna be built brick by brick, you know what I mean? Like you might may also need to put to help alleviate the stress. Yeah, because it looks like there's some stress here, eight of uh, eight of swords under the bottom of the deck. So to help yourself alleviate the stress, just make a plan. You know what I'm saying? Just make a plan. I mean, a simple plan. It doesn't even have to be like super or whatever, you know, but just make a plan and start and start there. All right, what else for the divine feminine? Okay. Seven of Swords. I think this is you creating a plan and strategizing here. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. We'll come back to that seven of swords, but I really think that spirit saying, go ahead and make a plan. Make sure it's well balanced. That's how you are going to not be so busy because maybe you guys might be a little busy and feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah, because this is like a wish fulfillment here. Whatever this thing is, nine of cups that's coming towards you is going to keep you busy. So I feel like there's a difference. <laughs> well, there's a mixed bag here. Like spirit is kind of talking about your career and what else you have going on as far as your stability is concerned. And then spirit is talking about love here too. It's giving us both, right? Give me one more card for the Divine Feminine, please. And the Wheel of Fortune. This is your good karma. This is <laughs> the Yes card. This is like divine timing. The wheel is turning in your favor. There's definitely some changes here coming towards you in the future that might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, but to get yourself feeling a little bit more grounded and a little bit more comfortable with the changes, you might just have to really think about how you want to move, right? Before you actually move, you may need to work out or iron out some details here but whatever this is that's coming in for you that spirit is talking about right now whether it be love or this new opportunity is going to be really really balanced like and healing for you it's going to be a wish fulfillment it's going to be beautiful energy here but i don't know what you're what you're going through though because the five of cups is on the bottom of the deck here so like either this is you feeling like Oh, I don't want to move on from the old, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to miss everybody or I'm going to miss this person or that person or I'm going to miss this job or my old co-workers or this could totally be like a past person that's in regret while they watch all this stuff happen. They put you in this seven of swords. They were, they were the seven of swords energy, you know what I'm saying? Like they were the liar, the cheater and they want to heal something because you're a wish fulfillment. But I really don't feel like... Um, Let's clarify. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Queen of Wands. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. The Four of Swords. All right. 
the bottom of the deck is the seven of cups. So this is really giving past energy. You know what I'm saying? Like this could have been somebody here with like a third party. Um, somebody's definitely taking a break from being a third party or also to this could be you. <clears throat> like I said earlier, strategizing. Somebody could be calling it quits with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius here or is trying to sneak off with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. All right. There's like multiple. Um, let's get some more um, energy here for this. Show me more here about this Queen of Wands. Show me about this Queen of Wands, please. Show me the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is someone's wife. Okay, somebody here could have been a wife. Or this could have been a third party. Show me the Queen of Wands energy. Yeah, there was a hidden third party. Okay, we have wife and hidden truth. So there's a, like, you're moving away from this if this is you, right? You're moving away from this. You're not doing this anymore. Um, somebody's definitely frustrated about whatever this situation. We are their freedom. Somebody wants their freedom. Um, and they're freeing themselves from this Eight of Swords energy, like I said earlier. Seven of Cups and a Six of Pentacles. This is definitely, like, options. Third party behavior. Yeah. Clarify the wheel. Why is the wheel here? I mean, you know, I'm not going to get too much deep into it, but y'all know what's going on. Clarify the wheel, please, for the Divine Feminine. That seven of, seven of Cups came out again. Clarify the wheel. You're going to have a lot of options here. A lot of good things are happening for you, I feel like. Well, this is when in reverse, I feel like Six of Cups in reverse. I think you're moving on from anything, like I said, <laughs> that has you feeling confused, that has you feeling stuck, anything that, you know, doesn't make you happy, even if that means letting go of the past. Uh-oh. Hold on a minute. This card flew all the way. Let me see if I can get it. Oh. The world, yeah, this is you ending those cycles. Like I was saying, you could successfully completed some form of cycle. You're moving on from anything that made you feel un made you feel unhappy. Nine of Wands, Page of Wands, you got some good news coming in. It might be a little unbelievable. It's gonna make you really excited, but you're gonna be like, oh shoot. So try to stay out of this Eight of Swords energy, you know. It looks like, too, you got a love offer coming in towards you. Like an offer of love and commitment. Yeah, look at that. I came from a King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or, or an Aquarius here. We got the King of Pentacles, the Star, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. But you're, like, in your head about this. Hmm. I don't know why you're in your head, but let's get... A few more messages here for you, Divine Feminine. What else does the Divine Feminine need to know, please? What else does the Divine Feminine need to know? Oh, didn't I just say y'all got good news coming? And look at that. Look at this. You got good news coming, Divine Feminine. You're going to receive some news that's going to make you very happy. Answer the call when the time comes. It will change your life for the better. You might just have to make a really, really quick decision, like I said, because there's some aspect of these changes where it just changes your life and you're like having to make these quick decisions. Be careful about who you tell your news, your good news to, because like I said, there are people out here competing with you. The people that don't want to see you doing better, they are jealous. You know, you're in this really good energy. Let us put the divine feminine, please. Yeah. So 
soul tribe and you're finding some a new soul tribe too you may meet these new soul tribe people or maybe this could be a group asking for you to come work with them or collaborate with them too it says if you've been feeling isolated yeah and i feel like you kind of have been right because you, you know we had go with the flow relaxation we saw this four swords it says um if you've been feeling isolated or with few connections in the world cheer up you're about to find your soul companions and form true soul connections which will be built on trust and love yeah because you're blocking out all this other bs you know you really are doing a good job of blocking you blocking motherfuckers like like <laughs> okay i don't i don't know who's a, who's a good blocker i don't know i don't anyway you're blocking people is all i know the unseen though life may seem uneventful uneventful to you it doesn't mean that things aren't happening behind the scenes while you rest trust and surrender to the universe remember we saw that light card we saw go with the flow we saw relaxation like you better take the opportunity to to go with the flow and relax now because things are about to change for you what else for the divine feminine please oh we have talent some of y'all have talent y'all do something very very good your talent is sought after okay it says you will feel empowered to share a unique talent that comes easy to you one that gives you endless flow of creativity sense of peace and freedom and then we see that freedom card frustration and freedom like literally frustration and freedom you're about to be free whatever this is it's making you money about to it's you're freeing up your pockets your money's gonna be looking better you, you might even meet this person this new love this new person while you're working hello okay um and look at what's on the bottom of the deck busy b did not just say y'all are going to be busy it says expect to be busy it might get difficult to balance your personal and work life but if you cut out distractions and and any unnecessary drama you'll handle it like a queen self-love i already know that you guys are taking care of yourself and doing self-love this was a really good reading